in this particular video, what we are going to do is we will try to see should we do scaling first or should we do splitting first? Okay. So should we try to do trend test and well split first or should we try to scale the data first and then do trend test and well split? Okay. In order to do that, let's see what scaling is. There are majorly two types of scaling, standard scalar and min max scalar. In standard scalar, you try to scale the data by changing the distribution of it. Okay. So the formula for it is xi minus your mean divided by sigma, okay, which is your variation of standard deviation. In order to do this, what we try to do is we first need to see what will be our mu and what will be our sigma. So we need to decide should that mu and sigma be the mu and sigma of whole data set or should it be of only training set? Let's try to understand this by example. Here, yeah, let's say this is my training set. And on basis of my training set, I'll try to predict. I'll try to train my model and then predict on the real world data. So on real world data, what I'll be doing is on basis of this training set, I'll try to find what the mu of this training data set is what the sigma of this training data set is, try to apply normalization technique and the mu and sigma will remain same for your real world data as well, right? For your real world data as well, the mu and sigma won't be of your real world. It will be mu and sigma of your training set. That's why preferred method is first you do trend test and well split. Then you apply Z scalar or your standard scaling to your training data, you calculate what your mu and what your sigma is. On basis of your mu and sigma, you fit that and do transformation on your testing and validation set. So the thumb rule here is first we try to split the data set and then we try to scale it. Okay. Scaling in scaling, when we fit our mu and sigma, we fit it on your training data and using the same mu and same sigma on your testing and validation is called as transformation. So on your training data, you will do fit and transform. On your testing and validation data, you will only do transform, okay? Because mu and sigma will be the mu and sigma which are used in your training data. To understand this theoretically, this is the notes of it. You first need to split the data into training and testing set. Don't forget that testing data points represent your real world data, feature normalization or data standardization of the explanatory or predictable variable is a technique used to center and normalize the data by subtracting the mean and dividing by your variance. If you take the mean and variance of your whole data set, you will be introducing future information into your training explanatory variables, right? So what you need to do is your mean and variance should be only of your training split. Therefore, you should perform feature normalization only over your training data, right? So what we try to do is first we try to split X train, X test, Y train, Y test. And on basis of your split, what we try to do is we'll first try to fit and transform your X train. But for your X test, you will only transform. You won't fit. Why? Because mu and sigma are all already fitted in your X train. That's all for this video. Thank you.